Okay, so Rachel is taking the macro shot of the bride's rings and her necklace. And we found these little pretty red flowers on the ground and we're using that as the background because the bride's colors are red. So, um, Rachel's decided to lay on the ground because the sun has set. Well, it is setting. Um, it's pretty dark. It's not dark, but to take macros, it's dark. Um, and so she wanted to be able to use the ground as stability for um, herself and camera shake and stuff like that. So um, I will have Rachel explain her settings and what she is doing. Image stabilization, that's going to help with camera shake. I'm also laying on the ground to help with camera shake. I'm shooting at 640 ISO, 5.6 is my aperture and 1 one one hundredth of a second is my shutter speed. Um, I'm also using live view and I'm zooming it in to uh, times five and I've got it composed how I want and then I am just carefully reviewing my shot and making sure that I get not just the prongs but the actual stone in focus and then I take a deep breath as I achieve focus. I exhale and release my shutter. Okay, so here's the shot that's zoomed in at 100%. Nailed it! No. <laughs> um, okay, so then uh, this is the resulting shot. We've got the pearl necklace, we've got the rings, we've got the flowers. Um, that's my in-camera crop. It leaves me a little bit of wiggle room in case I want to crop something in post and straighten. I may want to straighten because the sidewalk that we're on right now is not entirely straight. So. That's what we're doing. This is how I kind of envision the crop in my head, but I wanted to give myself a little more play uh, because the sidewalk isn't straight. So to recap, Rachel's settings were ISO 640, one one hundredth of a second for her shutter speed, and her aperture was 5.6. The reason her aperture was 5.6 and not 2.8 is because of how close she was to the ring. Had she shot it at 2.8, she would not have been able to get the ring and the prongs in focus, it would have been just the prongs or just the ring. And the closer she gets to the ring, the more she'll have to stop down her aperture. She also used live view to make sure that the ring was in focus along with the prongs. She then took a deep breath and exhaled and on the exhale took the shot. She edited the image with basic warm workflow from our first preset collection and sunshine baby and turn out the lights baby from our first set. And also follow your haze warm at about 11% from our Follow Your Art set. So this is the final image that we delivered to the clients and it looks great.